Let's see some properties of the integrable function. What does it mean? It means that if two functions are integrable, what about their sum? What about their difference? What about their product? If f and g are integrable, uh, from now onwards, we are going to discuss the properties of the integrals. So, properties of the integrals, if f and g are Riemann integrable on the closed interval a, b, then so is f plus g. f plus g b Riemann integrable hoga, first thing. Furthermore, a to b f of f plus g ka integral equals a to b f of x plus a to b g of x. Ye hum sabit karenge. So, let's see what is the theorem, what the theorem states. If f and g are integrable on a, b, then so is f plus g. So, there are two parts of the theorem. The first part is, I have to show that f plus g is integrable. And the second part is, I have to show that this integral of f plus g in fact equals the integral of the f plus integral of the g. Ye dono jo hai, ye baate mein proof karunga. So, any Riemann sum, I consider the Riemann sum of f plus g on the interval a, b. So, any Riemann sum of f plus g over a partition p of a, b can be written as this one. Ab mujhe pata hai ke sigma f plus g is representing the Riemann sum of the function f plus g. Ab ye humne discuss kiya hua hai ke f plus g ko hum is tarah define karte hai f of x plus g of x. So, by definition, hum this Riemann sum equals this one. Now, summation jo hai, wo mein alada alada kar sakta hon. J equals 1 to n f of cj into xj minus xj minus 1 plus summation j equals 1 to n g of cj into xj minus xj minus 1. I can separate the two sums. Jo ke mein kiya ho hai. Now, sigma Riemann sum of f plus g in fact, equals Riemann sum of f plus Riemann sum of g, where sigma f and sigma g are Riemann sums of f and g. Now, ye f for g, jo hai, ye to me diye ge the integrable. It means that there exist for each Riemann sum sigma f, there exist minus a to b f of x dx less than epsilon, such that p equals norm of p less than delta. Similarly, g ke liye bhi, jo hai ye true hai. Definition of Riemann integral implies that if epsilon greater than 0, there are positive numbers delta 1 and delta 2 such that these two inequalities holds. Now, if I take the partition p such that delta equals minimum of these two partitions, then I consider f plus g minus a to b f of x dx plus a to b g of x dx. Is ko mein consider karta hon. Abhi mein ye show ki hai ke Riemann sum of f plus g equals hota hai Riemann sum of f plus Riemann sum of g. So, that will become Riemann sum of f minus a to b f of x dx and plus Riemann sum of g minus a to b g of x dx absolute value triangular inequality use key sigma f minus a to b f of x dx plus absolute value Riemann sum of g minus a to b g of x dx ab ye inequalities jo hai for this partition which is delta 1 or delta 2 ka minimum hai that will be less than epsilon by 2 plus less than epsilon by 2 and this thing less than epsilon. So, for every epsilon greater than 0, we have the partition P such that Riemann sum, jo ke arbitrary hum ne liya tha, of f plus g minus this thing less than epsilon. It means, what does it mean? It means that the Riemann integral of the function f plus g in fact equals Riemann integral of f plus Riemann integral of g. Yeh hamne sabit karna.